All right, ladies and gentlemen, Baron here. So we are testing a basic concept and we're using basic ships. These things are nothing really to write home about or look at. Um, but I want you to take note of the textural differences between these blocks. That is because we have heavy armor blocks and light armor blocks. So the concept of this ship, before I'm gonna make anything ornate and grandiose and just something that looks awesome, I wanna test out the basic concept. And the basic concept of the ship will be a heavy armored ram in the front as well as the primary portion the frontal portion of it will be heavy armor and the back portions will be lighter armor and the back portions will be just enough armor to kind of defend against small arms fire and stuff like that and even lighter secondary and tertiary batteries that a main capital ship would have because this is a ram ship and the back is nothing really special it kind of looks rather ugly to be frank and the command the access to the command area is basic this is a test ship and this would be kind of like an orc themed ship if you're a fan of warhammer 40k or you know basically what space orcs would do rather crude blunt instruments they would be so this would be the first test we have a heavy armor plated spear or ram heavy armor in the front to take the brunt of the fire then light armor to defend against you know basically your maneuverability um, engines and it's not a big deal if those go out assuming because it's under the assumption that you will be under fire and you'll probably already be in the ramming process so if you lose maneuverability hopefully you'll already be on target and that's where these engines the majority of the power is directed to go forwards so um, the gray plate is a single layer of light armor. The, gr uh, the green one is two and the yellow one is three thickness and they are stabilized by engines on all sides because the premise is that we're ramming a ship that would likely be under power so we don't want gravity to just force the plate you know backwards. So the tricky thing is I actually tried to ram it as we save right here and I missed. I missed the armor plate. I'm not entirely sure where you're supposed to hold the X. Uh, <laughs> so we're gonna go at the two thickness. I'm assuming, and it's in keep note, it is light armor. So I guess I'm just gonna aim at it and then it's it's a little disjointed. Yeah, you can see the engines right there. All right, let's see how we did. So the ships should be fighting to stabilize right now. Goodness. All right, so green arm. Oh, I'm liking this. I am liking this. This test, um, the ship is destroyed. Remember, it is a ram ship, but it is in intact enough to the point where if there was a boarding crew on vault and like on board they would be able to exit out from the rear lighter armored plating so granted that was so that was two thickness punched right through it the ram is in great shape i mean it lost there was like three or four teeth we can go check but so this is one thickness and then we have three thickness we'll test it on three thickness because i think most ships um, capital ships can't really afford in terms of just weight, sheer weight. Maybe in the front of a ship if you're expecting to engage at long distances or if you're a ship that's more oriented to kind of get along the broadside. So there were th three main teeth and I think the first one was only bent up a little bit. So we're going to be testing this again. But man, I'm going to have to come up with a design because I'm a big fan, I've realized that if I was to theme my faction or my species, it would be kind of Warhammer 40k orc themed. I, I'm, I'm a big fan of ramming as a tactic, which is why I'm testing this. Um, so let's, let's ram the three thickness. This is light armor again. We're going to have to do the same test with heavy armor 
All right. We've hit it. We're trying to stabilize. The momentum is just... Oh. Look at that. So that's exactly why I stabilized these armor plating. Three light armor thickness has no match. So we lost a tooth on the first one. We lost a tooth and then kind of that first four section. The fact that this engine is still operational on that side... The heavy armor plating, um, at least right now, seems to have a dramatic effect on increasing the survivability. I didn't do this test in light armor. I guess that would be the next test, wouldn't it? To basically do this ram ship with light armor plating. Uh, I'm going to be designing some ram ships, because that's what I'm interested in right now as far as weapon systems go because you've kind of I have a little bit of criticism against capital ships and I, I'm beginning to understand why in World War II battleships kind of you know fell out of favor because they're so expensive and the weapon systems they have available can be outmatched by smaller vessels notably like fighters and bombers but look at this thing my idea in concept, ram the ship and take it over, internalize, like if you were pirates and raiders, employ cheap, cheap vessels to take the prize of the enemy faction. Anyway, um, this was my ram ship that I missed <laughs> the plating on the first go round, <laughs> and he's still over here, and it's very ugly from behind, but I think it's just attractive enough on this side here and just attractive enough in the front that you can kinda get the vision that I'm going for with this um... so let's see the ram ship ladies and gentlemen the test has been a great success something new and exciting uh... I'll be working on anyway my name is Baird I'm excited I'm gonna put something together Thank you for watching. Make sure to pull the trigger on that like button, and I am signing out. And we're going to try to get up. I'm, a, I'm assuming we could get up. Uh, yeah, it looks like we'll be able to. All right. Wow. That really just happened. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Baron here. So we're going to be doing a test. Um, currently... The only thing that can connect with asteroids is a space station. And uh, I have one here. This was actually used. Here, I'll show you real quick on this large asteroid. The test we're doing today is can we move asteroids? All right, so we're going to create a large ship just to illustrate. 